New affordable G305 wireless gaming mouse. Available in black or white, the G305 has been engineered to deliver an amazing gaming experience. Logitech G's quantum quick light speed wireless technology delivers a level of responsiveness better than most wired mice. And thanks to a report rate of just one millisecond, you can be confident that your kit will perform no matter how intense the competition gets. The remarkable response rates of light speed are matched only by the unerring accuracy of the G305's Hero optical sensor. Boasting up to 12,000 DPI sensitivity and 400 IPS responsiveness, with zero smoothing or filtering, the Hero sensor is capable of performing at the highest competitive level. Hero's high power efficiency has allowed the G305 to keep an ultra lightweight design too, just 99 grams, powered by a single AA battery. In performance mode, you can play with a 1 millisecond report rate for up to 250 continuous hours, or by configuring settings in the Logitech gaming software, you can extend battery life by up to 9 months in endurance mode. Either way, a handy indicator light will flash red when the battery reaches 15% remaining, so you'll never risk running dry mid-game. The mouse also features six fully programmable buttons, including a DPI selector, so you can easily adjust sensitivity on the fly to match your gaming needs. The G305 is also perfect for gaming on the go, thanks to its compact form and built-in wireless nano receiver. If you want to find out more about the incredible new Lightspeed G305 wireless gaming mouse, then hit up logitechg.com. Say hello to Dark Core RGB, the most powerful weapon in Corsair's arsenal of gaming mice. First and foremost, we knew we had to close the gap on input lag. When playing a reaction-based game like CSGO, everything depends on how fast and responsive your equipment is. Dark Core RGB's cutting edge 1 millisecond 2.4 gigahertz wireless technology works flawlessly, keeping up with your speed without the traditional wireless delay. The Dark Core RGB also works as a low latency Bluetooth gaming mouse. You can seamlessly switch over to a Bluetooth 4.0 or higher enabled device like your Mac or PC laptop. Native 16,000 DPI resolution delivers high accuracy performance and is adjustable in one DPI resolution steps. So you can dial in your mouse movement exactly to match your playstyle. You can use Q software to automatically calibrate Dark Core RGB to your mouse bed. So you'll get pixel precise tracking on any surface. All this great tech aside, this mouse is seriously comfortable. Dark Core RGB is designed to fit naturally in your hand and support multiple grip styles, like palm or claw, so you can game longer without fatigue. Decide how Dark Core RGB should feel with magnetic side grips that allow you to completely customize the shape of your mouse. But that's not all. I also want to introduce you to Dark Core RGB Special Edition. The Special Edition comes with all the great features of the standard Dark Core with an added bonus, wireless Qi charging. That means you can charge your mouse on any Qi enabled device, and it pairs perfectly with our MM1000 Special Edition Qi Charger mouse bed. Just move your mouse over to the charging area and the battery starts to charge. Dark Core RGB is the wireless gaming mouse we've all been waiting for. To find out more information, head on over to Corsair.com. On Rival 600, the thing that we really wanted to look at was when you lift off your mouse to put it back again somewhere. You always do this because you need to do the swipes, you need to move around on the screen, all that stuff. We wanted to combat that inconsistency. Obviously, we all have a navigational sensor in there. Navigational sensor is what picks up the motion of the mouse, then we translate that into something that moves your cursor or your, your person on the screen or whatever. That's one sensor that sits in there. What happens when you do a vertical lift is that for a period of time, your regular navigational sensor will be a little bit confused. It won't know what's going on, essentially. It doesn't know whether it's just, it, it, it stopped tracking because the mouse pad was out or whatever happened. The way that we're helping the regular navigational sensor is we've added an additional sensor that does nothing else but track liftoff. Then it tells the navigational sensor to shut off. You don't have to work anymore. It's very simple. And this little sensor we placed in there has nothing else to do in the world than just track the distance. So it means that we can be a lot more precise. It's less than 0.5 millimeters. That's less than a credit card. It's super, super thin. So you're not getting all the wobble, you're not getting all the inconsistencies. You're just getting a nice, clean signal. 
When you're designing a new mouse, you have obviously a thousand elements to consider. But one of the most important things is how you capture and translate your hand movement with perfect fidelity. We're always looking for how we can make the gaming experience better for the gamer.